Earth is the only place in the universe where we know for sure that there's life. But what about elsewhere in the solar system? I'm going to be looking at five of our neighboring worlds where we might find evidence of life, either past or present. And I'm going to give you these in reverse order from fifth to first. So, to number three on our list. And here's an interesting one. You may not even have heard of this place. Enceladus. It's another moon of Saturn. It's actually the sixth largest moon of Saturn. It's only 500 kilometers across. And it's covered in clean, white, fresh ice. It's the most reflective object in the solar system. But it's so small and so cold that surely it's dead in every respect. Geologically inactive, frozen through and through, of no interest whatsoever biologically, surely. But no, surprise, surprise. The Cassini orbiter, which orbited around Saturn between 2004 and 2017, I think, discovered, as it flew past Enceladus, plumes, giant plumes of material welling up from fissures near the South Pole. There seems to be a hot spot at the South Pole, and these fissures, which are known as tiger stripes, are where these plumes well up into space, shooting out material at speeds of 2,000 kilometers an hour. And in these plumes, because what happened, of course, after Cassini made this discovery, the scientists redirected the Cassini probe to fly through the plumes and then get a view, closer view of the plumes and also look at what chemicals were in there. They found water, ammonia, methane, various salts and a mixture of organic chemicals. So, here are the ingredients for life, the basic ingredients for life. There's apparently water below the surface of Enceladus. Now, you might be asking, well, how can a, a moon this small, this cold, have water? Well, it's the same reason that Titan probably has water, and also I'll be talking about another place also that surprisingly has water beneath its surface. The mechanism is tidal heating. The gravitational force of Saturn is twisting and stretching the body of Enceladus and producing internal heat. And that appears to be what is keeping this water liquid under the surface. So we've got water. We've got apparently organic chemicals because that's what Cassini found in the plumes. And we have a source of energy as well. The three key ingredients for life as we know it. Well, of course, it's a long way away from saying Enceladus has life. But it's another potential place for us to look for it in the solar system. 